break i'll talk what i mean i'll answer vishnu's question vishnu is keen to know yes, from an under 14 how to from india how how they go on to you know play the pro level with the, con- the budget constraints and everything we have in the country so uh, vishnu yeah i mean vishnu has asked this question but i'm sure this is a universal question uh, not uh, every under 14 players parents uh, face in our country the the key is uh, first to you know first to develop the child's tennis to a level which can help them adapt to the the, the junior the under 18 level or the men's uh, level if you don't have the game you don't need to spend unfortunately in india people are spending uh, too much too early and uh, that's the problem so it's the budget of uh, what the, i mean okay everybody has a budget constraint but you develop your game to be good enough to adapt to the next level when you are faced with those uh, challenges to start with and then you plan like if you are a 12 year old 13 year old uh, kids uh, parent who is looking to take them pro you plan like 6 to 7 years from now you need to have as much money as possible i mean you know the more you have the better but don't spend 10 15 lakhs uh, in 2 years and by the time the kid is 14 you are minus 20 lakhs and uh, tennis is not gone anywhere and that's unfortunately the scenario Correct. which is uh, happening in our country so to play under 14 tennis in india is, is good i mean you have because the kid can play under 14 under 16 under 18 and also and under 18 and if the moment he finishes 14 he can play men's as well so there's no issue of uh, you know even under 14 kid he can play men's so you have enough tournaments in india you can play local tournaments you can play whatever your club league locally happening and uh, you don't have to necessarily spend tons of money playing itf tournament chasing itf ranking and all those things and waste money so my uh, suggestion or advice would be uh, be smart enough in your you know in your spending when the child is at okay once he is 16 and he has to play the 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 bigger tournaments and the futures yeah you have to travel and spend which will cost and then the the cost of uh, traveling coach comes in but for that the best way is to players should come together as a group like three four people players come together and then they have a coach working with them it's it's economical for everyone i mean for the players it's like econo- i mean you guys do it now i mean you know you you share the coach yeah. expense which is actually not just the cost part it's actually productive because you have yeah. uh, people to talk to you know discuss uh, you have hitting partners uh, you have doubles partners uh, and then everybody is you know throwing in their opinion so good comrade like what the australian tennis is doing i mean they always travel as a team so that's these are the yeah. things they should start working on when the child is young and not uh, I can't, I can't in india what is happening is uh, i mean uh, i see uh, coaches i mean uh, i see parents taking the child one day to this academy somewhere in thailand the next day somewhere in korea then to europe then to us they spend tons of money by the time the child is 14 15 and uh, and then they look up and say we don't have the results so the best is to develop yourself so that by the time you're 15 you are you are capable of playing at least you know you start the indian men's at a tournaments so developing yes. your game should be the key competition is important but you don't have to necessarily go up and you know play tournaments if you are not ready so that is not going to help you it's only going to cost based you. On, and when you really need on, the money but, you don't have the money based, based on what you're saying is what uh, i think uh, vivekta underscore visaka underscore tennis yeah. if, just to traveling add to your coach, point yeah. yes where she's talking about traveling i think you are already answering that question yeah, right exactly. it's this this yeah. problem that so that's why i mean the same uh, there was a question on uh, how to go from under 14 to pro so from under 14 i mean you want to be a pro you have to do what the pros do basically try and develop your game to the your your skill level your execution level your fitness level your uh, the tactical acumen everything you you start directing in to the level what the pros do okay you might not be there now but that's the direction you need to go and that's what your goal should be every single day sorry without dropping bomb without spending that much of money for no yeah, reason exactly. when you're 12 you don't 13 have to. i mean and, and under 14 spending that kind of money for me is a waste because when you're 16 17 you have to spend i mean that time you cannot sit at home you need to travel spend play maybe go and train in uh, you know places where they have a better set of uh, facilities and players that time you need the money so the idea is to save money and use it smart 
and if you do well and if you get lucky with sponsors or you make some money on the tour or you get uh, european clubs uh, you know your teams to get into you you can make money and uh, manage from there on uh, 